greenteaguru.co.uk offers green tea, white tea, black tea, oolong tea, and we absolutely love pu'er tea with offerings of Misty Peaks, Yunnan Sourcing, Mung Hai, and Shagwa. We regularly visit Hong Kong and Guangdong, sourcing out very interesting and special cakes for your tea table. Green Tea Guru, based in UK with worldwide delivery. Okay guys, hello and welcome back. It's Ollie from greenteaguru.co.uk. Today we're looking at a very special frankincense called Royal Green Hajari Frankincense. Now you may remember um, a video not too long ago where we discussed agarwood, a beautiful oily wood incense from Asia. Now you can't really burn a lot of that stuff, it's going to hurt your pocket. <laughs> um, frankincense is another alternative if you're thinking about having a a very special tea session where you want to make the atmosphere maybe a bit more wholesome make it an occasion maybe you've got tea friends over or maybe just for yourself that special treat once a week or something now frankincense is a sap which is tapped from a very special tree called the Boswellia Sacra uh, these trees are grown in the Darfur region of Oman. The best trees can be found in very hard to reach areas. Uh, they're tapped and over a course of two to three days they will solidify into this beautiful resin. We will be talking in more detail later on about frankincense in this video but to burn frankincense you use one of these incense burners and you burn frankincense on these coal discs. Uh, you don't need the whole thing to be honest unless you've got a very big room I just simply cut off or with my fingers just snap off one small piece of coal and it's instant lighting very very easy I snap off a bit uh, and put it straight into the incense burner with these coals you don't need to worry too much when you can see it start to spark the whole thing will eventually ignite and start smoking when you can see it glowing red, you know it's ready to go. Pop it straight into the incense burner. You do need to be careful, however. Don't pop your frankincense straight on the coal. You need to wait. Wait till it goes white. And the reason for that is the temperature is too high. Um, the frankincense <coughs> can, um, can give off a slightly burning scent if place on a hot coal so wait till it goes nice and white just like this place it straight on top you can see it works straight away that wonderful smoke is coming straight off and the aroma is just wonderful the aroma itself is similar to eucalyptus lime or lemon zesty smell and um, not overbearing whatsoever you can have the incense burner right under your nose and it's just given off this beautiful scent. It's it's not like smoke, you know, where where like a fire where it can just get up your nostrils and it will hurt. It's it's very very soft and just just wonderful. A small piece like this, I'm probably using about a gram. This is enough for the average size living room. Right, tea time. Just for your information, guys, I'm on the raw pu'er today. A beautiful Rupua ancient arbor called Haikai kindly donated to me by Rui and I should be offering this in the future as well a great tea with a beautiful herbal nature just outstanding now another interesting point to mention is that frankincense doesn't need to be burned as an incense you can actually use a oil warmer so one of those um, oil warmer vessels with a tea light candle underneath simply pop on your frankincense on top and it will uh, very lightly spread its scent around the room but I much prefer burning it this way um, the scent is much more 
pronounced. So frankincense itself comes in many different grades with very subtle differences in aroma. This particular grade, the Royal Ajari, is medical grade, which means it's been graded as such that it has so few impurities that it could actually be used for internal use. What I, what I mean by that is that you could use it as an, as an incense, but you can also chew this stuff as gum or even drink it as tea. First off, to drink as tea, all you need to do is uh, take one lump of frankincense, dump it in the, the bo bottom of a mug, add hot water, keep drinking until the whole of the frankincense has been dissolved. If you wish to chew it, um, it it sort of it doesn't really dissolve in your mouth. It turns into a kind of a gum, or well, it's kind of what it is, it's a resin, so it will turn into a gum. Um, you need to be careful, it can get stuck in your teeth, so just be careful when chewing it. But what I find when I chew it, is it, it gives me more focus. Um, it's, it's, um, it's, it's not as, as intense as having a coffee, but it just sort of makes you more alert. And... I mentioned this to my distributor, I said, hey, when I chew it, I, I, I kind of feel very alert and focused. And he said, well, yeah, um, that's exactly what it does. Um, Muslims um, in Oman, they will chew this stuff and they will read the Quran to get more insight and just to focus in and what they're trying to do. I found that really interesting. You know, a whole host of health benefits has been associated to the use of frankincense, none that I can advocate at all <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it's doing good for some people, but please go ahead and do your research and make up your own minds but I think it's this stuff just gives your tea time that extra touch and that's what it's all about Well, tea time's over. It was nice while it lasted. Back to the grindstone. But uh, the smell of this beautiful frankincense will linger for a good few hours yet. I hope you uh, enjoyed watching the video. Please like and subscribe. There's, there's many more coming. Until next time, happy cupping. It's been Ollie from Green Tea Guru. See you next time.